Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from EasyAutomation.com and welcome to another video for automating Flutter app with Flutter Driver course. And in this video, I'll be talking about behavioral driven development with Flutter Driver using Flutter Gherkin. If you remember, in our last video, we discussed the real theory of the Flutter Gherkin and we also saw some of the drawbacks or hiccups of Flutter Gherkin and we are going to be basically work with Flutter Gherkin this time with all those hiccups and understand how things work. So for that, I'm gonna flip to my IntelliJ IDE. All right, so I am in my IntelliJ IDE right now, and I'm gonna start working with the Flutter Gherkin itself. So in order to work with the Flutter Gherkin, the first thing, as we always do, is to add the pub.spec file, uh, or pubspec.yaml file, with the Flutter Gherkin. So if I just go back to this particular uh, Flutter Gherkin over here, you can see there is this installation it says the dependency as flutter uh, underscore gherkin of this one so i'm just going to copy this guy and i'm going to go to this pub.spec of the uh, dependency and i'm going to paste this over here and once i do that you can see that we get this package get which is really really cool so now if i just run this package get you can see that it is going to be basically getting uh, the package Flutter Gherkin. And now if I go to the dot package over here, you can see that we have this uh, new Gherkin folder, which is cool. And we also have this Flutter Gherkin, just 1.0.4, just this one. So that's how we install the package over here with the uh, IntelliJ IDE, much better uh, in this particular IDE. And again, it's exactly the same thing like how we did in the Visual Studio Code IDE as well. All right. so the package has been installed and now I'm just going to create two folders. One is the feature folder or I'm going to call this as features because you're going to uh, write them in plural. And then you need to have the steps folder. And within this particular feature file, uh, I'm going to write a feature by creating a new file. Uh, and let's call this as like uh, add subtract feature because it's basically going to be doing all of them uh, for us. So you can keep this as capital letter if you want, but according to the Dart uh, specification, you should be using uh, in small letters and separated by underscore dot feature. That's going to be the feature that we'll be adding. And the feature that we're going to be adding this time is going to be testing the plus feature of the app, something like this. So what I'm going to do is like given I uh, test the initial state of the app and I'm gonna say I click the plus button and then I see if the value is one That's it. So this is the feature that I'm gonna verify. So initial state of the app uh, And I click the plus button and I see if the value is one. So I test the initial state of the app uh, maybe I can give as uh, with value zero So that's the initial state of the app and then I click the plus button and then I see if the value is one. So this is the thing that we'll be implementing in this particular video. To make things even more easier, uh, as of now, and I'm gonna comment these three step definitions, and I'm gonna implement the first step without even a parameter in it to make our life much easier. So in order to implement the step, once again, as I said, we need to create a separate file, and then I'm gonna say uh, initial state, of app dot dot so this is the step definition and then within this particular step definition we are going to be implementing the code pretty much like how the author has mentioned so if i go to the readme.md file uh, you can see that this is the step definition file the author has written so i'm just going to copy this completely maybe fully and i'm going to paste it over here and within in here uh, maybe i can improve the f increase the font size go to the preference Go to the font, uh, make it to 25, and then I'm gonna uh, change the uh, the names and stuff. So basically, I'm gonna say uh, initial state. That's the class name, uh, and it extends with to within with world. What is this with to with world, uh, and what is this world, and what is this uh, this whole stuff basically? So if I just go to this particular when to with world in here, you can see it brings me up to the when dot dot file. It implies to me that this Gherkin has got 
an and but executable uh, steps given step configuration step definition uh, step functions step run results then when and world so basically there is a gherkin 1.0.3 package being added for us automatically which has all this implementation and this when if you see there is like when one when two with world and there is when two uh, when three with world what is this when three with world when three uh, when two with world and when two and things of that nature and you can see that it's basically the two in here implies two parameters with world implies it has a world in here so whatever you give in the world basically it's pretty much like the protractor uh, that if you have if you create a world it's going to be consumed across all the different step definitions within your life cycle of that particular code execution that's exactly what it is in here in the context as well so this world in here can be our flutter driver because we need the flutter driver uh, object to be available across the life cycle of our code execution so that's what it is and then you can see that uh, it has a when one as well which has this one and you can see there is even when with world alone so you can just even specify with world you don't even have to specify any parameter there that's exactly is going to be there for the given for then and 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 things of the nature so this is something that you need to understand how the author has written the code along with the uh, gherkin dart so if you just search for gherkin dart uh this is the gherkin dart is 1.0.3 and it's pretty much exactly the same definitions that you see it's the same author who has written that as well that's john samuel uh and if you go here it's the john samuel as well so that's exactly the same thing then uh as that said i'm gonna go back to my initial state of app and since this is going to be a given so this guy should be basically given with and since we don't really have any parameter for this step definition see that's what the reason i have commented this guy uh i'm gonna say given with world i'm gonna remove these two parameters here it's just a world and i'm gonna leave this as flutter world or i can even give some other better understandable name in here so that i can make use of it so uh, i can leave this as it is or i can give a name that I pretty much like it. But I'm just gonna leave this as Flutter World for now because Flutter Driver actually, if I just click that, you can see it extends the world. And you can see it's coming in from the Flutter's Gherkin world, right? So I'm just gonna leave this guy as it is in here. And I'm gonna leave, uh, I'm gonna change the constructor name. And you can see that this color coding is not coming in here. And that's what this uh, reason I said before, the trade off with the IntelliJ IDE versus the Visual Studio code. There won't be any color coding in these cases, but if you go to the dart analysis, it shows you the error at least, that what is the error which is going on. So, but if you just go to the IntelliJ uh, Visual Studio code IDE over here, and if you go to the steps, you can see it shows the scrolly line like errors, uh, and it also shows what is the purpose of, what is the reason for these errors and things of that nature. So this is more color coded and IntelliSense work fine as well. So it says like override uh, is not uh, applicable for this particular stuff because you're not doing the exact stuff that you're looking for. Like the string of int is something that you're expecting in here, but you have not passed that in the Gherkin world. That's what it is saying. So you can probably get rid of these two and the error is gone right now. But you also need to get rid of these things over here, make your code look more legit. And then if you go to the feature folder once again, you can just copy this line of code and paste it over here to complete writing one step definition. It sounds a little crazy while you work for the first time and you should understand the reason is because of the missing reflection. If you have reflection, these problems will never come. But since there is no reflection that's the reason we are facing all this problem and as that said right now you can see that we have written this particular uh, future we have executed uh, we have executed step now the last thing which exists right now is to call i test the initial state of the app so in order to test the initial state of the app 
Now comes the page object model that we wrote in our previous videos. This guy, the home page. So if you remember, within this particular home page, we actually have all the controls to be identified, like counter text and all those stuff. And also we have a method like get counter value. So this method can give me the value from the counter text box. So now in order to make use of it, all I'm gonna do is this home page of uh, home page is equal to home page. Again, in Dart, you don't really have to give like new home page. It is not required. And now you get this error. Uh, so you just import the particular file in here. And you can see that there is some error coming in. Uh, the reason it says it, it expects an argument to be passed. What is this argument? It's a Flutter driver. So how do we pass the Flutter driver from our Flutter world? So basically, I'm gonna say world. The reason why I know this is world is because if you go to the Flutter world, we have the world being extended. And now if I hit dot, you can see that it gives me the driver. So this is what I'm actually looking for. I'm actually expecting the Flutter driver object. So this way I can get the Flutter driver object. So I can create home page or maybe I can instantiate the home page world dot driver as parameter for Flutter driver object. And now I can just call the home page dot get counter value to get the counter value. So once I get the counter value, I can now do and expect of the counter value to be zero. So the expect is the uh, is the method that you can see uh, it's coming from the Kirkin package as well. So once I hit expect, you can see that it takes me over here uh, for the for the initial uh, matching. Or you can also use something called as expect match for verifying exactly what. So it's more generic. Instead of doing that, I can use expect match to verify yeah, if that's exactly what I'm looking for. And again, since this uh, get counter value is going to be an asynchronous function, uh, I'm going to say now wait uh, for making this code looks fine. So now if I just do uh, format documentation, looks everything good. And now if I go back to the IntelliJ IDE, you can see that it's still not colorful enough to show me all the things, but uh, it shows the unused package. Even that's what it is shown in here as well. I can move that. I can now save it. And now we are going to be running our first ever BDD based code within the code that we have written. But in order to execute that, as I said before, we need to have what is called as a runner or the Gherkin runner. That's what we discussed in our previous video while we were actually uh, working with. So if I go to the Gherkin, you can see there is a runner here. So you need to create this runner and then you should be executing this which we'll be doing in our next video because I know that these concepts are kind of flawed and it takes some time to consume and digest. And that's the reason I'm gonna stop this video over here for you to understand how to write this particular piece of code. In the next video, we're gonna be writing our runner and then we're gonna execute this particular code and see how things work. And once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.